Hello viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkoli Sengnube. Uh, I'm here to respond to just a few questions from Zimbabweans who are applying for the mainstream South African permits and moving from the Zimbabwe exemption permit. So following our video earlier this week where we said that people who applied for waivers and uh, the general work visa without having uh, any qualifications were being turned away and there were mass rejections so people have been asking us if uh, it is worth the trouble for one to apply knowing that they perfectly do not qualify for any of the permits on offer under the south african immigration act so before we go ahead we'd like to request you to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it uh, I cannot, for the love of South African laws and the love of Zimbabweans, be the one to tell you not to comply with government directives, number one. Number two, I would not encourage people to lose their money while applying for what they know they will not get. What I can only tell you is that uh, if you do not qualify, there is no way, or rather, let me say there is... A very slim chance of you being granted any of the permits that are on offer because you have to qualify under the South African Immigration Act. But I cannot tell you to defy the government of South Africa's directive that you should apply because what they want to do is that is to make sure that those who qualify under the Immigration Act and have been living on the Zimbabwe exemption permit for the past 11 to 12 years are not uh recept out of the south african system but they also don't give you any guarantees that if you do apply and you don't qualify you'll be given the permit so the decision on whether or not to apply rests with you as an individual then there were people who were saying that they submitted, they had no problem submitting their documents even if they didn't qualify uh, with, this, with the VFS Global Visa Facilitation Services Global. Uh, yes, the VFS will accept your application and they will take your documents. But what they do is that they don't uh, arbitrate. They don't uh, give you any visa they don't give you a rejection what they do is they receive your application they receive your documents and then they forward everything to the department of home affairs which will wear, then uh, weigh your application against the visa that is uh, that you applied for and the qualifications that you need to satisfy under the immigration act then they will take a decision based on that. If you don't qualify, they will then reject you and then inform the VFS of the outcome, which you will then be informed to come and collect from the nearest VFS offices. So the decision on whether or not to grant you the payment that you applied for doesn't lie with the VFS. The VFS will not reject your application. They will not even say you don't qualify. They will just accept your application and you will have to pay uh, for the services that you have to pay for in as far as the requested visa uh, is concerned then after you pay you will submit you will book an appointment and submit your documents then the decision to reject you or accept you will come from the department of home affairs you will not be refunded your application fee because that fee is to hang your application not to grant you the visa so i hope this is clear uh, if you have any more questions please uh, send those via the comment section underneath this video and we'll respond to you so until next time please have a wonderful long weekend have a wonderful weekend and have a wonderful holiday Thank you very much. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to share it.